What's up, everybody? Robbie Oz here. We're talking Rario today. Now, lots has been happening. I recently just did a video on the AMA, and it was my thoughts leading up to the AMA, and then I also played some of the actual AMA, the part that was in English. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure you head over, because it's a more in-depth. They ask a lot of questions, stuff like that. And I guess my intentions for this video is to make it more kind of my summary of what was spoken in the AMA. There was also another AMA uh, with Polygon, uh, which I listened to and asked a few questions in. And I've also asked some questions to the Rario crew and they've given me good answers. That's what I love about this project, guys. They're so open. If you ask a question, they will answer it. Even if it's like, hey, uh, we're not sure on that yet, but thank you, you know, they'll, they'll always reply. So I really love that. The community starting to get flowing in the Discord. So lots happening. Let's jump over to the computer and we'll look at everything. All right, so again, uh, there is also a pack drop. So if you haven't reserved, reserve, because there is not long to go. Two days, I think, something like that. All right, so here we are with the D3 Club website. As I said, you can win up to $125. This is a bit of an insight on what the leaderboard is going to look like, uh, except the only difference is to what it's actually going to look like today is that's going to say Robbie Oz at the top there. <laughs> couldn't help myself there's your three cards so this also gives us a guide so they did say you would need one bat and one bowler minimum from two different teams but i can see this may just be a demo i think it is just an example but i would have expected there to be a bowler because i'm guessing andre russell isn't or he is there you go all rounder so I reckon the cock would probably be swapped for, you know, a Shamsy or someone like that. We're going to have a bat, an all-rounder, and a bowler. Or with the all-rounder, it could be either a bat or a bowl, but um, I guess we'll see. As they've mentioned a few times, it's free to join, and I, and I do really like that. We are 18 days away from the start. Here's some of the other players. So, again, you can see all-rounder, all-rounder, bat. There are a lot of all-rounders, so... It wouldn't surprise me if there was just a straight up bat bowl all rounder option. I haven't really looked at the at the drop sheet, but we probably could. Um, and then, so I'm just going to run through what I took from this. So there's going to be four tiers. So again, with that the, the, those images, it could be a black, gold, silver, and bronze tier. Um, and you would play. You would enter three within that. So. With the black, you might need one black. With the gold, you might need at least one gold. You know, stuff like that. It's not having all black. Um, that's my thoughts. And I did ask if we can have enter in multiple. And they said yes. So say, for example, you've got a black and two gold. You could enter in the top tier. and But you also want to do the silver because you've got three silvers. You know, you could enter that as well. So I, I like the fact that there's uh, multiple options um, from, from what I've heard at this stage um now the other thing that i thought was super interesting so you get xp uh which is like player points right you get them on your card but you also get them on your profile so the more you use that card the more xp you get uh we'll bring up some of my cards maybe the more xp you get but you also get that on your profile the more you play the more XP you get as a user. So I thought that was super interesting and something that I haven't dived into. So that was really interesting. Um, I enjoyed hearing about that. So if I use Shamsy all the time, which I probably will, uh, when he plays, I'll get more XP on his actual card. Um, love that. Now, now two other quick things. Um, they did kind of spill the beans on. There will be a strategy game which to me will be something like Cricket Guru. Uh, if you haven't played that, head over to Discord, check it out. It's actually a great way to use your NFTs when there aren't games. I, I absolutely love that. And, and I think it's one of the biggest things that separates them to other people to me. I think that is massive. They've got that background there. Plus, they've got the sponsorships like the CPL here, uh, Australian Cricket. So you can actually go to the games potentially and you know meet your favorite players or even i heard them say you could play in a game you know it could be all black holders of you know shamsy get to come and you know meet him and, and play a game stuff like that or merchandise uh, i certainly love those ideas they also spoke a little bit about they're conscious of 
just say um, you get a David Miller and he, or like a, a Sunil Narayan, and he retires next year. Yes, they are open to options of being able to trade it or, you, you know, um, kind of burn it and get something else or, you know. But also know that these are collectibles. First and foremost, these are collectibles. And if these guys are playing in the CPL, if Narayan has a great year this year, you know, in 10 years' time, there's still only ever going to be 500 Narayan. So that price will go up. But it is cool that they're thinking about, you know, long-term use and short-term use. So so I like that. Great work, team. I think as well, you know, with, with working with Dream 11, they really have put thought into mass adoption. So having lots of players come in and... You can enter that bottom tier, whatever it is, whether it's a bronze tier or whatever. You can enter that straight away. It would be fairly cheap. Like these packs are super cheap. So it won't be expensive expensive to get into that bottom tier. And you'll be on a level playing field pretty much with everyone else. $9 for a pack. Like you'll be on a level playing field. And I really like that. So um, that's kind of my summary. Please, if you've got more questions. Oh, no. Uh, they did say, oh, guys, this is massive. I did ask this actually in the polygon. Uh, the payout structure is something that's hard in this area. They have gone to fiat deposits, but um, with a hope in future, especially with things in India, as things get more stable with the crypto world to be able to do crypto. So they've gone to fiat now, but they've got quick withdrawal. So that's great that there's, there's not a lengthy wait with your withdrawals. Uh, I did ask that question. Uh, what else was there? Uh, marketplace opens up soon. Um, the release of the golds and that wasn't that high, so we won't probably see that many listed on the marketplace unless they do one more drop uh, like they did with the last time. Uh, personally, I'd love another chance to get another black card. Uh, I'd love a Dre Ross or something like that. So hopefully... Um, I don't think they know themselves yet. If there's going to be one of those, they may be going to see how things go with this pack drop. So that's the update, guys. I'm trying to keep this pretty quick, pretty precise. Uh, the latest that I know, the best, all the latest news. So, all right, Legends, uh, please subscribe. Let me know what you think about Rario. Do you have any questions you want me to ask the team? I'm very lucky to have a nice working relationship. I'm not paid or anything for making these videos, but um, they are... Very grateful that I'm trying to help promote their product, so they're helping me out with some information and, and stuff like that. So let me know if you guys want to know anything more. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video.